Hi guys, welcome back again to our channel. So we're home. We're home. Yeah. And she's recovering. She's almost back to normal. She was doing mountain climbers this morning. <laughs> no, just kidding, I, I didn't. So, anyways, we just wanted to say thank you to everybody for all the kind words, the thoughts, the prayers, the support. Oh, so nice. thank you guys. She was, she was thank so you, nervous. Everyone. Y'all was so nervous because I didn't experience surgery before. And, and it all happened so quickly. Yeah. So I was at work, it was a Thursday, and she yeah. texted me that her stomach hurt. You know, but we were like, you know, just whatever. It'll go away or something. But then she kept texting, it was getting worse and worse. So I left work a little early. By the time I came home, she was laying on the bed, like, in fetal position, crying. I was like, okay, let's go. We got, <laughs> this ain't gonna go away. So we went to the hospital. Yeah. We went to the hospital. By five o'clock, we got there. And then by the time we got done check-in and waiting, it was six. By midnight, she was on the operating table. That's how it happened at best. That's how fast it happened because it was yeah. like poof, poof, poof. So they did their tests and CAT scans and they come back and said, you got appendicitis, we need to get that thing out. And she's like, oh, surgery. <laughs> Which I understand. I've never had surgery myself, but as far as surgeries go, at least here in the US, appendectomy is, is very like common. common, yeah. But of That's course she's gonna be scared said. whether it's common or not. But you know, when you go under anesthesia, it's a little scary. But she was scared, but it went smooth and she barely remembered. <laughs> yeah. But it was quite an experience. She was in a lot of pain. Just after they the almost knew right away, even then like when we were doing check in, they're like, yep, that's probably gonna be your appendix. And sure enough, that's what it was. Because I think they've seen that enough times to know that people come in with a lot of pain for that and it's I, in the same spot. I thought it's not the appendix because they just check like here, like like the the right side and the left side and what I feel like the pain is in the middle of my abdomen yeah. Yeah. when they said she also had it was infected or whatever but it also had a stone so that's why they said they wanted to get it out right away yeah there's like a small stone inside the appendix like yeah. they see yeah which like you said here it's it's pretty common surgery now and they did what was that called a lap lap something or another what? The surgery was called lapendectomy or something. Appendectomy. No, the, the way they did the cutting was... Well, anyways, they don't cut like a long slit. Yeah, and they then, just like, do they like case, keyhole? Key yeah, like little keyholes. Surgery? Like five. Five of them. Yeah, I have five. I think two are like put the camera in, the others they're just... So they barely, they don't cut you much. It's still enough where for a week she was hurting quite a bit. But it's not like 10, 15 years ago where they... They cut me. Or right. even if it's not big, it's bigger than what you had. Yeah, mine, mine is just like I have five. Four are just small, and then like the belly button is. Show them. I'll show. <laughs> the okay. belly, I can. Then the belly button is, is like a little big. Yeah, I think that might be the one where they actually. It's like it this. <laughs> Look, guys. Like that. Like there's cut in here. That's the cut. It was a lot darker. It was. Yo, and here, this is the bigger the one. I still have one in here. That. Yeah. So that's. Yeah, that's the cut. And it's getting better now. So thank you, everyone. But she was also scared because her grandmother, way back in the day, well, not way back, but back, had the same surgery yeah. in, in the province where they're from. And that was. That she was in the hospital for a whole week, right? Yeah, and that she was, was in a lot of pain. So she, in her mind, she her, thought that's what it was gonna be like. Because her appendix burst, yeah. and that's like the doctor said there that if your appendix burst, like there's what's that? Well, I think it's just more high tech with the surgery. And hers was close to bursting. They said another day or two, and it would have been really. It was I close. So. I think so. It was infected. They said there was pus when they got it, so it, it was. Oh, she said it was perforated, which I mean, I think it means like slightly cut open. Really? No, I don't know. I didn't know. So basically, you can say I saved her life by taking her to the hospital. <laughs> Just kidding. 
But anyways, that's how quick it happened. So she woke up normal that day. Yo, by, by the end of the day, she's on the operating table. No, not the, because that night, my back hurts. Just that, my back hurts. The lower but, back. Yeah, the lower back. Then I told you, love, my back hurts a lot. Just that. Then when I wake up in the morning, like my tummy started to hurt. But like it's bearable. And she does have stomach pains once in a while from digestive stuff. You know, normal yeah. tummy. So we just assume. But yeah. I really didn't expect that it's my appendix. But it's just, like I said, it was a normal day and she's on the operating, which it's good it was fast because it didn't give her a long time to lay there and be scared about the surgery. You barely had time to think about it. Yo, I don't have time because when the doctor says, you need to do surgery, we need to get your appendix. Yeah. So yeah. What was that? But now she's almost back to normal. They said, one to three weeks. I'm not allowed to lift heavy weight. What else? Not allowed to have sex. <laughs> yeah. She's not allowed to, to do be laundry. On top. <laughs> so I've been doing all the housework. Yeah, I feel bad. Try to do all the housework. She then... watches Netflix while I do the housework. <laughs> she says, chop, chop, chop. <laughs> You missed a spot. Not. He takes good care of me while I was in the hospital. Aww. He didn't get sleep, guys. I feel bad. Sleep in the chair for one hour. That's okay. Yeah, and he didn't rest because he just got home from work. We go straight to the hospital. Then he didn't sleep because he's waiting for me in the operating room. Oh, it's okay. That's one. When you, love, when, when you love somebody, that's what you do. Aww. Santa, aww. <laughs> okay, Thank okay. you, love. So. But yeah, anyways, just the comments and things like that were really supportive. So she wanted to say thank you. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat sa lahat sa She really was scared. She's like, no. I can't do this, love. I don't want to do surgery. And of course, I'm saying, oh, it's no big deal, but I've never had surgery, so I really can't say <laughs> he that. He said, he said, it's okay because the doctors here are very good and the, what's that? And the, the and the nurse told her, she said they do many of these per day. It's just, yeah. it really is a common surgery now. Yeah, I thought they would go like, Psh. But my, my surgery is just small, so... I'm I think still... they said the appendix is like the size of a finger. It's just like the tail end of the intestines. I see. Yeah, so, that's what like the doctor gave us. Like. Yeah, they uh, gave us the infected appendix, so we're gonna make a necklace so she can wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Joke. Right, yeah. any, anything else? I'm just so thankful that Chad is with me. He make me strong. Then make me laugh even if I'm in pain. <laughs> Thank you, love. Hey, thanks, guys. I'm just so blessed to have Chad in my life. I'm so lucky. Is mm. that all? <laughs> so thank you guys. Thank you everyone. Thank you, thank you so much for all your prayers for me, for my fast recovery. Aww. Thank you so much. Now I'm recovering and I'm feeling better, getting better every day. So, thank you. Bye-bye. That's all for today.